One of the main characteristics of narcissism is a lack of empathy. But that doesn't mean that narcissists are completely devoid of this important trait. Often what they lack is emotional empathy, but they do have the capacity for cognitive empathy. So does that mean you can teach a narcissist empathy? Let's talk more about the role of empathy and how you might be able to teach people with mental disorders to have more of it. Can you teach a narcissist empathy? The question of whether or not you can teach a narcissist empathy is a complicated one. On the one hand, research has shown that individuals with narcissistic tendencies may have a reduced capacity for empathy due to certain brain differences. However, recent studies have also suggested that narcissistic individuals may be able to develop aspects of empathy through certain interventions. One study conducted by Erica Hepper and colleagues found that individuals with narcissistic tendencies were able to develop a greater capacity for empathy when they were given a perspective-taking task that required them to imagine the feelings and experiences of others. Additionally, research has shown that narcissistic individuals may be more likely to display compassionate empathy which involves feeling sympathetic toward others and wanting to help them, particularly when they are given empathy prompts that help them imagine how the average person might feel in a given situation. While it may be possible for some narcissistic individuals to develop empathy through certain interventions, it is important to note that research is still in its early stages and more studies are needed to fully understand the relationship between narcissism and empathy. Additionally, some individuals with narcissistic personality disorder may not be willing or motivated to participate in interventions aimed at developing empathy. Research on Teaching a Narcissist Empathy by Erica Hepper Erica Hepper, a social psychologist at the University of Surrey, has been exploring the possibility of teaching narcissistic individuals empathy. Her research, published in the journal Personality and Social Psychology Review, suggests that while it may be difficult, it is not impossible. Hepper explains that empathy, defined as the ability to understand and share the emotional response of others, is a crucial aspect of healthy social interactions and relationships. Narcissistic individuals, on the other hand, tend to display a lack of empathy and are often focused on their own needs and desires, leading to challenges and sometimes unhealthy relationships. Hepper's research found that although narcissistic individuals may struggle with affective empathy, they are not completely incapable of it. With proper guidance, they can develop and improve their empathy skills. Here are a few steps for how to teach a narcissist empathy. Number 1. Help the Narcissist Develop Cognitive Empathy the first step in teaching empathy to narcissistic individuals, according to Hepper, is to help them develop their cognitive empathy. This involves encouraging them to understand and recognize the emotions and needs of others through facial expressions and body language, even if they do not feel them on a personal level. By teaching them to intellectually understand the emotions of others, they can begin to develop a sense of perspective-taking and consideration of others' feelings. Number two, teach them practical skills for developing empathy. Often, the child without empathy has parents who don't mirror the child's emotions or listen when they try to express what they are feeling. Thus, the child never learned to do the same. They never understood the concept of the emotional contagion because no one ever mirrored their emotional responses as a child. By teaching them how to practice skills like active listening to ensure they understand what other people are expressing, they can learn the basics of the empathy relationship. From that base, they can learn more skills associated with empathetic behavior they can learn to actually feel similar emotions to what other people around them are feeling. That's the essence of empathetic behavior. Number three, 
help them enhance and strengthen their emotional intelligence. This can be done through various exercises, such as practicing identifying emotions in others based on nonverbal cues or working on emotional regulation techniques. The development of empathy is a learned response, and many times the narcissist just needs to learn the cues that indicate various emotions in others. Once they can do that, they can then use empathy prompts to understand how they would feel in a similar circumstance. That will help them to further understand the relationship between empathy and pro-social behaviors. Number four, understand the limitations of teaching a narcissist empathy. While there is hope for improving the empathy skills of narcissistic individuals, it is important to note that not all individuals are open to change. Narcissistic individuals may resist attempts to teach them empathy, seeing it as a weakness or a threat to their sense of self. Therefore, it is important to approach such individuals with patience and understanding and to recognize that change may not happen overnight. In short, narcissistic individuals can learn and develop their empathy skills, and there are even some things they can do to reduce their narcissistic tendencies overall. This is crucial for their own well-being, as well as for the healthy social interactions and relationships. With the right guidance and support, individuals with narcissistic tendencies can begin to recognize the emotions of others and develop a more compassionate and considerate approach to their interactions with others. How to incorporate empathetic responses into everyday life. Empathy is a vital aspect of healthy social interactions. It allows us to understand and connect with others on a deep emotional level, and it is a critical skill in navigating complex relationships. It's all too easy for anyone, not just narcissists, to be affected by a decline in empathy when they are focused on their own challenges. Here are some tips for incorporating more empathetic responses into your everyday life. Tip number one, active listening. One of the first steps toward cultivating more empathy is through active listening. And this is particularly important for narcissists who are often solely focused on themselves. Active listening means being fully present and engaged in the conversation you have with others. Rather than simply waiting for your turn to speak, Actively listen to what others are saying and try to think about it as if everything they are saying is 100% true. Try to paraphrase or summarize their words back to them, which shows you are genuinely interested in understanding their perspective. Tip number two, practice gratitude. Empathetic people are grateful people. Taking time to acknowledge and appreciate the people in your life is a great way to develop more empathy. Whether through regular expressions of thanks or small acts of kindness, showing gratitude can go a long way in strengthening your relationships and developing a deeper sense of understanding for others and a stronger sense of effective empathy. Realizing what you have instead of focusing on what you don't have is a great way to increase your empathy for people who may be facing more serious challenges than you are at the moment. Tip number three, put yourself in someone else's shoes. It's essential to put yourself in someone else's shoes, especially when they are experiencing difficult emotions. Empathy requires us to acknowledge and understand the emotions of others. We can do this by imagining what it would be like to experience their feelings and then responding in a supportive and compassionate manner. This is where empathy prompts can help someone struggling with empathy like a narcissist. Narcissists are well known for being unable to put themselves in someone else's shoes, but this is a vital part of the empathy relationship, and it is what generates that understanding and compassion. Tip number four, watch your body language. Body language plays a significant role in communication. 
Practicing an open and welcoming posture can help convey to others that you are listening and interested in what they have to say. Avoid crossing your arms or legs, which can be read as disinterest or defensiveness. It's also important to be aware of your facial expressions so that you appear welcoming on that level, too. There is a strong relationship between empathy and the ability to read nonverbal cues like body language and facial expression. That's why it's important to check your own behaviors to be more empathetic. Tip number five, avoid judging. It's essential to avoid judging others, even if their experiences or views seem foreign to you. Instead, try to approach conversations with curiosity and an open mind. Seek to understand their point of view, even if you don't necessarily agree with it. It's easy for involuntary responses that seem judgmental to rise to the surface when you're in such a situation. But empathetic behavior means understanding the other person's point of view. If you use that active listening tip about pretending that what they are saying is completely true, you can at least understand their perspective. That will allow you to show more empathetic behavior than you might otherwise be able to muster. And tip number six, use empathy prompts. Empathy prompts are a great tool for increasing your level of empathy or helping someone like a narcissist to do so as well. The prompts are designed to help anyone understand the viewpoint of someone else. Here are a few examples of such prompts. Write in your journal about a fight you had with someone, but write it from their perspective. What is their side of the argument? Why do they feel that way? And how does it affect their behavior? Create a story about being resentful towards someone you disagree with. For example, imagine someone in your life you know can never disagree with on a particular topic. Write a story about treating them respectfully, despite that reality. Make up a story about someone who is sad. Describe their body language, facial expressions, involuntary responses to challenges, and how those might seem to other people around them. Go on to describe how the people they are around can help them. Incorporating more empathetic responses into your everyday life takes time and practice, but the rewards are worth it. By developing a greater sense of empathy, you can enhance the quality of your relationships and better understand the world around you. Remember, it starts with a conscious effort to listen, understand, and be present for others. Finally, it is possible for a narcissistic person to learn to be more empathetic. Whether they suffer from vulnerable narcissism or grandiose narcissism, they can learn to be more understanding of how other people feel, and in that way, they can reduce their narcissistic bad behavior. It's vital, however, that the narcissist is willing to increase their levels of empathy. The complexity of narcissism makes it difficult for them to recognize that there is anything wrong with them, and that is a challenge you face when trying to help them increase their empathy. For those looking to find solace from the emotional toll of narcissistic individuals, simply follow the link below this video or visit TriggerPlan.com. Discover a free guide crafted to help you identify emotional triggers and effectively manage their impact. Don't forget to grab your complimentary copy before exiting the video. Thanks for watching.